are in the EU. Uh, that's why I'm doing this call, this live event at 9 a.m. Uh, Colorado time, um, because we have got about 48 hours left for you guys in particular in our fall 23 product launch sale. So everything I'm going to say right now, by the way, for actually two things, first things first, this is a live event. So if you have any questions or comments, you can type them in below. I will see them over there on my screen. So if you see me looking over there, because I'm reading your comments and questions. Secondly, oh, and if you're not watching this live, that's cool because, you know, um, we'll have people who are coming in and answering your questions after the fact as well. But the other thing is everything I'm going to say, oh, my hair's a bit of a mess. Everything I'm going to say is going to be over at zeroshoes.com slash fall 23 sale or zeroshoes.eu slash fall 23 sale. This is our fall product launch. It runs through September 5th. Only a couple days left, obviously. And we have already sold out of a number of our best sellers. <clears throat> Pardon me. We always try to anticipate what's going to do really well and order way too much of that. And we have been wrong every time. You guys keep surprising us and ordering way more than we ever anticipated or even could afford to bring in. So when you go to those pages, you will see um, all the new products that I'm about to show you. And you'll see our sweepstakes app where you can register to win one of 10, 10, $100 zero shoes .com gift certificates or one of 10, 100 euro zero shoes .eu gift certificates. And what else can you do? You can see reviews for all these products. They've been coming in. People have been wearing these shoes now for over a month. Um, we released them a week and a half ago. Um, but we had some people who were wear testing them before that. So you can check that as, out as well. All right, I'm going to show you the shoes. I'm going to answer your questions. I'm going to read to some things over here. Can't wait to get a pair of the Pagosa. They sold out fast. Uh, that's from Jason. Yeah, that was one that was a bit of a surprise. We are getting more in. And we're trying to figure out how quickly we can do that. That's a whole other story. Okay, so we have five products for the EU and eight products for uh, the US or actually for .com. And they are 20% plus off. What that means is if you order one of the styles I'm about to show you, 20% off. If you order two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, anything more than one, then you're going to get an extra 5% off. That'll show up in checkout. So um, oh, let's see. Uh, James says, hey, Steve, your zero our Z, our Z Trek sandals uh, are the best. Uh, uh, wait, what is it? Well, you said zero Trek, but then you said zero Trek two. So we have our Z Trail to well, that's the Z Trail EV. Anyway, says our sandals best. Uh, best, I walk miles in them. Um, thank you, James. I do the same thing every day. Okay, let's jump in and talk about the new stuff. First things first. Frankly, this is our best seller. If you want something that's super casual but with an athletic look, but frankly is able to handle some performance activities as well, you're talking about the Nexus Knit. So we call it the Nexus Knit because this upper is what's called a 3D knit. Literally, it's made as one piece. 3D is because it has texture, not just flat, um, on a machine. So this has a sock-like or booty-like construction. You can see there's not a tongue, actually. It just really fits like a sock, but has the same sole that we use on our uh, Forza trainer, our high-tech training shoe. So, uh, by the way, if you're not, if you don't know what makes Zero Shoes so, so special, if you want to discover what you've been missing, which is natural comfort, performance, and health, I'll be telling you how that works as I show you these shoes. So, first things first. Instead of squeezing your toes together, we have a wider foot-shaped toe box in our shoes, so your toes can spread and relax and do what's natural. So, anyway, back to the Forza Trainer. I'm uh, sorry for, for the Nexus Knit with the same sole <clears throat> as the Forza Trainer. Again, you can see that it's just got this really, really fun athleisure look, but again, it's ready to do whatever you want to do. All zero shoes, by the way, have a removable. Uh, sock liner or insole so you can have more or less barefoot feel. Keep it in if you want a little more protection. Take it out if you want more of a barefoot feel. What else can I say? Um, super, super flexible. Yikes. There we go. 100% vegan friendly. That Because it's a, a knit weave, it stretches, which is super fun as well. Um, and um, that's the simple thing. You will love the Nexus lit knit. Branch says, still waiting a response email from Rachel. <clears throat> that's a whole other story. Drop me an email. I will see what I can do about that. Um, I am not in control of other people, <clears throat> pardon me, and their lives or their email, as you know, but I can see what I can do. Uh, Nexus sold out. Um, again, we blew our minds. Some sizes, some colors are gone. We are getting more in. Um, if you make sure, you know, if you register, this is a good point. If you register to get notified when we get restocks of these shoes, we will give you the sale price. So people who are after the sale, not going to happen. But um, we can keep your email address. And we can give you that sale price when we restock the things that we are 
that we sold out of. We're happy to do that. So, okay. Um, this is, by the way, I'm not, uh, because it came up, I'm not showing every color of every shoe that we have. Some shoes, we only have one, some shoes we have four, but, and everything in between, um, just because I'm at home, I couldn't bring everything here. All right, let's go on to the next shoe. I'm going to go in, I'm going to go for this one. So we had a, we have a partnership with Michelin a company that makes tires for tires for cars and bikes. And they have a material they call um, I can do this. They can tell it fiber light. So basically they have a layer of rubber, but inside that layer of rubber is a textile layer that makes the rubber super strong, super flexible, super lightweight, super durable. And we, in the spring launched the scrambler mid, a mid height hiking boot that is so lightweight, so comfortable. People use it as a running shoe. Well, people ask for an actual trail runner hiker, and that is now the scrambler low. So there you can see our Michelin collab. Here's that tire tread, actually um, mountain bike tire tread inspired sole on the zero shoes. And this is a really, really breathable and durable upper. These are very highly protective um, toe cap and welding around the sides. These straps, by the way, they are adjustable. So for the midfoot and the instrap, so you can get a nice secure feel. And this is a bit of a fake out. It looks like this is a big thick sole, but it's not. So what's happening is we took our trail foam layer that we put in most of our trail shoes to give you just a little more protection, smooth out the bumps a little more. And we just wrapped it around the shoe to give it a really, really cool look. So this is the Scrambler Low. What else can I say? Um, oh, speaking of low, second feature about zero shoes low to the ground for balance and agility. We don't elevate your heel. That messes with your posture. We don't have this thing called toe spring where this thing can't move down. That messes with your gait. And again, everything we do is like really, really flexible. Um, oh, and if you want a little extra protection from the elements, let's see if you can see it there. That's a gator hook. So a gator is a thing, basically think about a little tent that goes over your, mm, below your calf and covers the shoe. Pardon the sunlight that's beaming in on us. Um, I've got my shades pulled down, but there's one sliver that I can't, Get rid of. Let me see. Wait here. I'll move that way. Yeah, that's not really helping. Yeah, yeah it's going to keep moving. All right. Scrambler Low, the lightest, most comfortable, versatile, technical hiking boot you've ever put your foot in. It is dreamy. Um, the reviews are spectacular. You'll see them when you go to zeroshoes.com slash fall 23 sale or zeroshoes.eu slash fall 23 sale. And a couple things came in. Uh, Brad says, oh, appreciate you. Thank you. E-doodles, that's awesome. Thank you. That's about um, making sure. So when you go to, um, to one of the product pages, and you see that your size and, size and color are sold out, especially um, size, frankly, then you'll see somewhere like right under the add to cart button or right around there, a little thing, be notified when we restock. Click on that, submit your email address, and we will take care of the rest. Um, speaking of which, Mahesh says, when can I expect the Pagosa um, to come back in? I don't know. We're still trying to figure that out with our factories and with transportation. So we're working on it. Um, the name you gave me, the tread is aggressive and grippy. It is on that one. Oh, that's on the, oh, you got the scrambler rose. He said, the scrambler rose came in. I love them. Tread is aggressive and grippy. Okay, let's move on and stick in the hiking round realm. We've got a boot that is fully technical, fully waterproof. Uh, by the way, Scrambler Low, also vegan friendly. This next shoe is not. Um, but more than being a technical hiker, it looks so cool that you'll just wear it all around all the time because it's got this incredible retro style. This is the Ridgeway. So this is suede accents on the toe cap and um, a really nice padded collar. Um, again, gator hook for extra protection. Fully waterproof, really durable uh, canvas upper with our, let's see if I can show that there with our, that way, our Zerotex waterproof membrane. So fully seam sealed waterproof membrane, gusseted tongue. That means that the tongue is basically one piece up to about that level. And that means that it's waterproof up to about there. If you step in higher, you know, gravity, water goes down. Everything goes down except for things that are going up because they're lighter than air. Or act, well, not well, that's a whole other story about physics. Anyway, bottom line, um, take a look at the tread on that. Super, super grippy tread. And what else? Again, we took our trail foam layer and just made it visible to get this a really cool look. We are not making a super thick sole. Still crazy, crazy flexible and lightweight for a fully technical hiking boot that you'll wear with a pair of jeans or whatever else you can think of because it really looks that good. This is the Ridgeway. Okay, we've got two more new shoes. One of them is out, um, but I'm going to show it to you anyway. It's actually, I think, 
like there's a couple sizes left for men, a couple for women. Again, make sure you um, just sign up to be notified about when they come back in. We'll give you the sale price during that time. So if you're if you've submitted a notification, um, Mahesh says thanks. I purchased the Speed Force Two and the Kona, waiting for it to arrive. It's my first time purchasing zero shoes, um, and have worn the uh, Speed for and have worn the Speed Force Two. Um, uh, oh, I get it. Waiting for the Kona to arrive. Awesome. Okay. So, well, then I'm going to get to that shoe in a second, but let's talk about the Kona. Um, love the look and feel of, yeah, of the Speed Force 2. He says, I do too. And I'll tell you more about that. But let's talk about the Kona because you brought it up. So if you want that, you know, hanging out at the beach feel, no matter where you go, you are going to love the Kona. Kona is named for a town in Hawaii, happily not on Maui. And happily, we are supporting the Maui efforts to rebuild. Um, we're very happy to be doing that. Very sad about what's been going on over there. But anyway, moccasin style shoe, cotton canvas upper, fully vegan friendly. Um, and it's a slip on. So you can see it's got this sort of uh, kind of hard to see this elastic gusseted tongue here. So you slide right in. These elastic straps will hold you down. This is not something where you can tighten because, again, it's a slip-on. But it is unbelievably flexible, really, really lightweight, incredibly comfortable. It'll mold to your foot because of the, how the cotton canvas works. Um, nice tread. Um, again, this is the kind of thing, if you're in the middle of an urban jungle, you'll feel like, you know, there's a waterfall right behind you. This is the Kona. All right. Let's see. Last but not least on the new thing. And just a reminder... 20% plus off. Go to zeroshoes.com slash fall 23 sale or zeroshoes.eu slash fall 23 sale. And you'll see if you buy one of these styles, any of the ones that I'm showing you, you get 20% off. Buy more than one, you get an extra 5% off, 25%. And don't forget to register for our sweepstakes where you can win one of 10 hundred dollar or hundred euro zero shoes.com or zero shoes.eu gift certificates. Um, do not wait till you see if you won before you buy something because we announced the winners after the sale ends. The sale runs through September 5th. So through Tuesday. Um, and but, but don't pro it's, it's not a problem though, because if you buy something, then you win. We can apply your winnings to what you purchased, that original order. Or of course, you can use those winnings to get something else for you or someone you know or love or someone you would like to have know and love you because you just got them some zero shoes. And now they're experiencing the comfort, performance, and health benefits that come from letting your feet do what's natural. So there's that. And you'll also see reviews of these products, a bunch of video reviews from people who've been wearing these shoes for about a month or so now. All right. So last but not least in the brand new, not upgrade category, this is the Pagosa. So Pagosa, um, it's the cold weather brother to our sunrise, a little casual slip on we made it's like a camp shoe or home house slipper or something to run errands on something. It's got a collapsible heel so you can literally either slide into it or wear it as an actual shoe. This has a faux wool upper, so vegan friendly, looks like wool, feels like wool, performs like wool, keeps you nice and warm when it's cool. A really, really nice, super thin um, sole, just four and a half millimeters, which makes this thing incredibly lightweight. And of course, ridiculously flexible. People always say, hey, that's good for travel. Technically, that's good, better for travel, but I get the point. So um, nice little elastic gore layer so you can slide right in. And again, this will mold to your foot just because of the construction of this upper with this faux wool. So if you just need something to slide in when it's getting cool, when you're at home, or if you're at a campsite or you're just running errands, you are going to love the Pagosa. All right. Um, could we donate a percentage of our Kona sales to Maui? We're actually doing much more than that. So we have a different philanthropic fund that we're using to do that. So, okay, on to the um, upgrades. All right, I'm going to start with, let's see, which one do I want to start with? I'm going to start with this one. So we've gotten a lot of requests for just a waterproof shoe to walk around. We have a couple of waterproof boots, but some people ask for a waterproof shoe, particularly a hiking or trail hiking slash running shoe. So we took our best selling trail shoe, which is the Mesa Trail 2, made it waterproof. It looks just like the Mesa Trail, um, but we made it with this extra protective toe cap, even more protective welding on the sides, um, and it's fully waterproof. Seam sealed inner booty, wait, it says right there, zero text. That's our seam sealed booty material and a gusseted tongue, gusseted up to about the level of the uh, ankle thing here. Because of course, if you step in water, we can't prevent water from going into the shoe, gravity. But we do have, you can hopefully see it right there. There's a little gator hook. So if you need a little extra protection, you can do that by hooking on the gator to that. Um, again, it's just like all of our shoes, 
removable insole or sock liner if you want more or less barefoot feel. Nice grippy tread from our Mesa Trail 2. Um, a water resistant upper and waterproof membrane. What have I not talked about? Oh, you know, I haven't talked about our soles. You have, you have 200,000 nerve endings in the soles of each foot. Why? To feel things. Why? So your brain knows what you're stepping on or stepping in, what kind of terrain you're on. So it knows how to control your body, how to move you effectively and efficiently and enjoyably. Well, if you've got a big, thick sole, how much can you feel through that? You're right, nothing. So first things first, traction and protection, of course, but we're also trying to make our soles um, responsive enough so your brain is getting that feedback that it needs to know how to move your body efficiently, effectively, and most importantly, enjoyably. And more importantly, maybe, is that most shoes, like especially running shoes, they say you have to replace them every three to 500 miles because the sole will have worn out or the midsole has with a bunch of foams worn out. Um, we don't have that midsole that wears out. And our soles are backed with a 5,000 mile sole warranty. When we designed the rubber for our shoes, we said to the rubber manufacturer, here's the characteristics we want. We want it to be flexible and really, really durable and you know, as grippy as we can make it. And they said, but that's not how they make uh, outsoles for running shoes. And we said, I know. That's why we want to do it this way. So Mesa Trail 2, fully waterproof hiking, um, uh, trail hiking and running shoe that you're going to love. Still crazy flexible, not as flexible, of course, as the Mesa Trail 2 because it has that waterproof lining, that fully seam sealed waterproof lining. Also keeps you a little warmer because of the seam sealed lining. So that'll keep you nice and comfy in the, sun, in the cooler weather. Okay, two more. I'm saving my favorite for last. We took, this is not the one, we took um, our best selling trail running shoe. So, Jesus, I can't even think on a Sunday morning. Our best selling road running shoe, <clears throat> the HFS2. Our, uh, geez, wait, let me try that again. We took our best selling road running shoe, the HFS, and we gave it a, a facelift. We gave it an upgrade. We made a couple improvements to it, and we we're really happy with the HFS2. And not only are we happy with it, but the people who've been wearing the regular HFS who got this one love it. So biggest change, we've got this new tire tread inspired sole that's really road friendly. Um, we've made the upper, um, the toe cap and the welding even more durable. We have taken, uh, this is the same, the straps that are hiding behind here, fully adjustable to hold your midfoot and your instep. And we took our sole that had a little layer of what we call bare foam in it, just to take the edge off, you know, on a road. And again, we just made it more visible. We wrapped it around so it looks like a big thick sole, but it's actually not. And here's my favorite thing. We took some weight off, even lighter than the original. So again, like everything we do, incredibly flexible, incredibly lightweight, so lightweight. We've had people about with some of our shoes email us to say that they literally went to bed still wearing their shoes because they forgot they had them on. So HFS2, again, selling out like crazy because the response has been so good with an upgrade to our best-selling Road Runner. Okay, last and definitely not least, I call this my favorite shoe for two reasons. First, I helped develop it um, from start to finish along with a friend of ours who used to be a lead uh, developer at Nike and was always trying to help them do things that are more barefoot friendly and they never did. And so he and I became friends and he was really into uh, footwear designs from hundreds of years ago before they had a bunch of technology. And the original version of this shoe, the Speed Force, was made, um, I think it's about a 400 year old design. Panel on the left, panel on the right, toe cap that becomes, or sorry, um, tongue that becomes the sole that becomes the heel. Wait, I'm gonna try moving, no, that doesn't work. Okay, and um, anyway, people, I mean, well, here's the second reason I love it. I'm a competitive sprinter. For men over 60, I'm one of the fastest men in America. And it's the shoe that I train in and compete in because it works just as well as a pair of spikes. So it's like a racing flat. Well, we've upgraded it because some people didn't like that kind of bowling shoe look that that had with you know two panels on the sides and a panel in the middle. And so we redesigned it. Now, when we redesigned it, I called a couple of people who had like 50 pairs of this shoe. They bought a ton of them. They never wanted to run out. They gave it away to friends. And I was terrified that they weren't going to like the new design. So I sent it to them and said, what do you think? And the response was, love it. Well, I'm glad because I do too. This is the new Speed Force 2. Again, comes in other colors, but you can see if you know the original one, um, just a whole different upper design, unbelievably breathable, um, a more protective toe cap and more protective welding, same four and a half millimeter feel true sole adjustable straps. This is where you can really see how they work. They're not sewn down. 
So adjustable midfoot, instep, and heel strap on the Speed Force 2. Crazy, crazy, crazy lightweight and flexible. In fact, even more lightweight than the original Speed Force. Um, again, our soles are back with our 5,000 mile sole warranty. Um, what else can I say? You're going to slide this on your foot and not even realize it's there. It's going to just feel like a sock or a slipper or like nothing because it's really that lightweight. Um, not quite as light. Hold on. Let's see. Um, you know what? It feels almost as light as the Pagosa. That is crazy town. So um, Speed Force 2, it's just, you know, if you're not a sprinter, you're not a runner, that's okay. You can just wear it around all day, every day. I do. And um, I just could not be more happy with this shoe. So there we go. Um, I would love to see a bowling shoe, Miss um, um, Ann says. That's a whole different game because <laughs> then you need to be able to slide. And we're all about kind of grip and traction. We'll see. You can Look, you can leave that suggestion at zeroshoes.com slash feedback. That's the place where we take all the info that we get from people like you. And we give it to our production team, our design team, to figure out what we want to make next. So do that. E-Doodles HFS2 is my first Zero Shoes pair that I got. Happy to hear it. Okay. Um, I don't need to belabor the point. I'm going to show you all these things really quickly one more time. But just a reminder, between now and through September 5th, you can save 20% plus on these new fall shoes. Uh, 20% if you buy one style, an extra 5% off if you buy two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight styles. So the different styles, as a reminder, the and so, oh, and let me remind you again, when I show these two, if you go check them out and we're out of your size and color, you should see a little link that says um, uh, something like, you know, be alerted for restock notices, something like that. I'm not looking at the site. If you put in your name now, then when we get the, the replacement product back in, we'll still give you that sale price that we're doing during the sale because it's not your fault that we sold out. So um, I don't, we're not, by the way, we don't do that often, but in this case, we were so wrong, uh, even though we ordered a lot of the new stuff that I'm willing to do that for you guys. Okay. Nexus Knit, our athleisure, fully super comfortable sock-like, booty-like construction on a 3D stretchable knit um, that is performance friendly as well. The Scrambler Low, the low top version of our Michelin collaboration. This is the lightest, most technically advanced, uh, most comfortable, most flexible trail running and hiking shoe you'll ever get. Gator hook on top of that. Just for the sake of saying, bring it up now. The Mesa Trail too. The Mesa Trail is a less expensive, less technical version of the Scrambler. Well, here's a waterproof version, the Mesa, Truth, Mesa Trail WP. Uh, still sticking on the trail side, our Ridgeway. The Ridgeway, of course, a retro style, um, fully capable, fully technical, fully waterproof gator hook as well. And But also just with the style, look great with a pair of jeans when you're going out and about. The um, the Pagosa that I sorry the uh, wait I can do this the Pagosa that I brought up before a super simple little slipper faux wool on top zero zero shoes um, feel true rubber on the bottom incredibly flexible lightweight where's the slipper indoors take it out for run errands walking your dog whatever you like to do slide in step on the heel or just wear it as a regular shoe if you like up to you the Kona. Our moccasin uh, cotton canvas upper, again, just like everything, really lightweight and flexible. Gives you that being at the beach feeling when you're just walking around wherever you go. I already showed you just recently the Speed Force 2. Could not be happier with this. And then the HFS 2 as well, the upgrade to our Roadrunner. So those are all the new shoes for fall of 23. Um, a last reminder, go to zeroshoes.com slash fall 23 sale or zeroshoes.eu slash fall 23 sale see the new products, look at the reviews, uh, enter the sweepstakes. Not too late to do that. You can win one of 10, $100 or 100 euros, zeroshoes.com or zeroshoes.eu gift certificates. Do not wait to see if you won. We announce the winners after the sale is over. But if you buy something, then you win. We can apply your winnings to what you bought, or you can use it for something else for you or someone you know or love or someone you would like to have know and love you when you give them a pair of zero shoes. Do not wait till, I mean, look, Sale runs through the 5th. It's a little over, well, now it's what about 60 hours if you're in the US, um, plus or minus. Do not wait to the end. We have already sold out of some sizes and colors and even some styles. And so we know the last 48 hours are usually as busy 
as the 10 days before, but try not to wait to the very end. That's why I'm doing this call now. I'm doing another one in this evening to remind people also when it's actually closer to that 48 hour mark. Um, what else? So oh, Mahesh says, I wore the SFI two for an hour and a half walk for the first time and they were amazing. That's the Speed Force too. Uh, light, good support, still just a barefoot feel and just awesome. Thanks for saying that, Mahesh. Mahesh, I agree, of course. All right, so that's all the news. Um, I, I want to just thank you all for, for those of you who are new to Zero Shoes for deciding to give it a shot and discover what you've been missing, natural comfort, performance, and health. And for those of you who've been with us for a while, thank you so much for your support. Half of our orders come from people who are buying their second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth pair of Zero Shoes and beyond. Could not be more grateful for all of you because at Zero Shoes, we are on a mission to literally, I know it sounds crazy, change the world to get people to rediscover what happens when you let your feet do what's natural. Let your toes spread and relax. Do not mess with your posture. Be flexible. Let your brain feel what your feet are feeling and move naturally. So um, oh, Christine says, ooh, I'm about to wear my Zero Terraflexes for my first half marathon. Have fun. Um, again, send us pictures and video. Uh, and everybody else, most importantly, um, just and I hope you take advantage of the sale. As you know, we don't do this often. We have a fall product sale, a spring product sale. Sometimes we do, well, we have a holiday sale. Twice we've had to do, or actually three times because of the pandemic, we've had to have a little blowout of something, but it doesn't look like that's ever going to happen again. So this is a rare opportunity that I do hope you get to take advantage of. But most importantly, whatever you do, please just go out, have fun, and live life feet first.